Hi Aquarius, this is your May love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so I'm just going to sage out your cards really quickly, Aquarius. And then we're going to jump into your reading and see what the universe has to say for the month of May. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the Sun card. So some of you are dealing with the Leo. Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay. <laughs> I can't even talk. Okay, somebody wants to talk to you, Aquarius. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Sun card here. Somebody wants an equal give and take with you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? And we have the Star card. Okay, so we have your energy here. So this person... It's really hopeful that they can bring things back around with you. They're um, keeping the faith in a situation, even though things may not be going the way they want them to right now. Somebody feels like you're their happiness with the sun card here. And they may not have done you right in the past, of course, but they're willing to make some changes is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Some of you also could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn, or another Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, somebody wants to talk. We have the Eight of Wands here. So if you're not talking to this person, for some of you, I feel like you're doing it on purpose, but rightfully so. And I feel like you're trying to teach this person a lesson because you have let them get away with things in the past. And now you're feeling like it's time to put a stop to it. Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So this person is definitely feeling like, how can I change Aquarius mind about how they feel about me? We have the Three of Cups here. This person could have had you in a third-party situation. If that's the case, I feel like they're dropping someone for you. Or they're willing to drop this person for you. Now, what I'm also picking up on here, if these cards can stop flying out of the deck so fast, we have the Fool card here. So this is Aries energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Or this person just wants a brand new start with you. That's how they see the situation, Aquarius. Now, what I'm also picking up on here is that this person is willing to walk away from this other situation, but they're trying to see what's going to happen with you first. Are you going to take them back? Are you going to talk to them? Um, are you guys going to be able to work on things and move forward? And I feel like that's what they're basing this situation on, whether they walk away from a third party, okay? So that's for some of you. That's not gonna be for every person out there. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. Someone is hanging on to you and they do not want to let go because they believe that this connection can work. I'm also... These cards are just flying out of the deck. I'm telling you, your person wants to talk to you. So if you're not talking to this person right now, they're waiting around for you. They may not be acting like it. They may not be letting you know. They may not even be calling you, but they're damn sure thinking about you. This person is very guarded too with the Seven of Wands. I feel like um, they're angry with themselves for some of you. They're really angry that they screwed up this situation, okay? For, I feel like for some of you, they screwed up this situation with another person and they're realizing that it wasn't worth it. And then also, it's like um, somebody has a family situation going on here is what I'm picking up on. And they're not happy in that situation, but they stay in it because they feel obligated or uh, there's a lot of history there, but their happiness is with you, Aquarius, okay? Yeah, King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius for some of you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay. So we have the Hermit and the Four of Cups. So this person may be in Hermit mode right now, but it's not the way they want to, um, to be. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, but if not, we have the Four of Cups here and we have the Hermit. And I feel like this person is sad because they feel like they're going to have a missed opportunity with you. Or that you're not going to believe them or you're not going to trust in them again. And they're going to have to work too hard to um, fix the situation with you. They're willing to do it though. The way the cards are coming out. <laughs> I'm telling you, cards are falling all over the place. All right, give me one second. These cards just fell on the floor. Wow. All right, so I'm going to take them. It was four of them. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles. All right, so this person feels like you are their equal. With the King and the Queen of Pentacles, they feel like you guys can build together. Okay, I'm picking up two storylines here, though, 
with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles and the way this um this fell out of the deck some of you could be dealing with another earth sign a virgo taurus or a capricorn female and some of you could be dealing with the king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn male okay so um whatever your situation is you know best you know better than i do and if this is not you feeling this way flip and reverse the roles here but there's conflict between you and this person and they want it to end with the Page of Cups. They have a love offer for you, but I feel like this person is waiting for you to contact them or they're waiting for you to let them know if you want to move forward or not. Okay? Because they feel like you guys can move forward and make this work, but they only want it if you want it. It's like, I don't feel like this person is going to chase you, even though you may feel like they should chase you because they are possibly the one that screwed up in the past and like i said if this is not you feeling like this then this could be your person if they're cross watching so flip and reverse the roles if you need to but i feel like this person sees you as their match and now they're kicking themselves for screwing this up they're really angry is what i'm seeing here with themselves with this five of wands i feel like this person is um going through a lot of conflict i'm also picking up the energy that if they're living with someone they could be arguing with this person or just not getting along with this person that they live with and now they're seeing things for what they really are and they're realizing that they shouldn't have screwed up with you or and they should have made a decision and chose you someone could have chosen someone else over you also and they're feeling like they made the wrong decision here Aquarius what messages do you have for Aquarius we have the page of wands this person wants to talk to you so you could get a text message from them or they could reach out and call you for some of you it's a younger fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius and when I was about to shuffle the deck these wanted to jump out of the deck we have the queen of wands and the six of swords okay so some of you could be dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius could be a female or a male the cards are not gender based this person wants to move forward with you Okay, and I don't feel like they're going to give up on the situation, but they're being stubborn right now. Somebody is being stubborn. They see your worth. They actually see a lot of good in you. Even if they're not telling you, they see that you're very ambitious. You have goals and they don't want to give up on someone like you because they feel like they'll never find another person like you again. And I feel like you may have, you may have had to walk away from this person in order for them to realize this Aquarius, um, because they were taking this connection for granted before. Yeah, we have the devil here. This person still feels like you guys are bonded. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but if not, they still feel like you guys have a bond, even though you're not speaking right now or you're not getting along. Also, I'm picking up the energy that if they cheated on you, it was because of lust, temptation, and sexual addiction and fantasy. It's like they didn't really um, want to have anything stable or solid with another person it's like they weren't offering them a commitment and that's why they feel like they could have wasted their time dealing with this other person because now they screwed up everything with you i feel like some of you caught this person cheating or you found out something about them spirit what messages do you have for aquarius spirit what messages do you have for aquarius Here, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, something just wanted to fly out of the deck, but it flipped back. Oh, okay. Yeah, the death card. They know that they need to bring in change and transformation in order to have this connection back. And I feel like this person is heavily thinking about how to um, achieve that. They really don't know because they're so used to screwing things up. They don't know how to fix it. Spirit, what messages do you have? So some of you could be married to this person. I keep seeing the Hierophant. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, the World Card. Something ended for some of you guys, but it's not over. It's like the cycle has ended. Whatever the cycle was before between you and this person, however things were going, that's coming to an end. This person knows what they want now. They know what they have to do with the full card here. In order to get this new beginning, they have to make a change. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay, or an Aries. But you have three major arcanas here, the fool, the death, and the world. And there are some changes that are coming your way. But this person wants you to give them a chance to make things right. But you know what's bothering me about this reading, Aquarius, is that even though this person wants this out of you, they're not speaking up. 
And I feel like they're just being stubborn right now because they feel like if you come towards them, then they know that you still want this and then they're going to they're going to um, agree to work on it. But it, they feel like this person is so stuck in their pride and their ego. It's like they feel like they shouldn't have to chase you or they shouldn't have to chase anyone, but they still love you and they want this. Okay. Yeah, the hate man. This person is just waiting around for you to contact them. For some of you out there, I feel like this person is not happy in a living situation. You see how this person is just hanging outside of their home? Okay, it's like they haven't left the home where they live or where they have a, another committed situation. It could be a marriage, but they haven't left that situation yet, but they're not happy. So possibly they hardly go home. When they are home, they really don't talk to this person that much. There's not a lot of um, communication um, or them like interacting with this person. Maybe the other person may be upstairs a lot. The other person may be downstairs a lot. Whatever the situation is, I just feel like there's not a lot of interaction. I feel like this person is really heavily thinking about you. It's like their body is there, but their mind is on you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? All right, so we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they feel betrayed. They feel stabbed in the back because you're not talking to them, even though they may have done you wrong. Spirit, what messages? Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Some of you may have new love coming in. Maybe that's why you're not calling this person or you have a decision to make between more than one person. Could be a water sign for some of you. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, and then we have the Three of Swords. So there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of heartbreak here um, and a lot of disappointment. I feel like some of you could be very disappointed in this person and you're just not ready to reach out to them yet. You still care about them, but you're not ready to um, like reach out to this person and talk to them. You feel like you want them to make more effort as well. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So if you don't reach out to this person, they're gonna reach out to you because Knights are movement. So somebody is gonna come in towards you for sure okay they're waiting on you but if you don't make it happen they're definitely going to make it happen they're just trying to wait it out and i feel like it's part of this person being stubborn and very prideful and egotistical yeah we have the five of cups and the queen of swords either you walked away from this person or they walked away from you but i'm feeling like for some of you you walked away from this person or you stopped talking to them and then we have the five of cups here so this could be your energy where there's a lot of regret, there's a lot of remorse, and the reason why you're not talking to this person is because it's hard to get over something that they did to you. It's like you feel like I can't move past it. Like the lie you told or how you cheated on me and this was like, you know, not the first time and I warned you last time but you did it again so you have no respect for me or the connection. It's something here where you're like, you know what? I had to cut this person off because whenever the queen of swords comes into a reading, especially her own reading. So this is you guys energy Aquarius. It's like, you may have cut this person out and maybe this is not something you wanted to do. You may have felt like you had to do this in order to gain respect from this person or for them to see that they could no longer just, you know, treat you like a doormat or take this connection for granted. Um, all right, so let's get some message cards and let's see what this person is thinking and feeling and what they want you to know. Spirit, what is a furious person feeling and thinking? What do they want them to know? Spirit, spirit, what is a curious person feeling and thinking? Oh, okay. I'm afraid... I'm afraid to take that next step right now. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, this person doesn't want to lose ground. They feel like they're still, it's like they're so petty. <laughs> I feel like somebody here is extremely petty because they feel like, okay, well, I'll win if I don't reach out, which is not even all about that. I feel like this person needs to grow up. They're very immature, but they're looking at the situation like, um, I'm going to win this argument or I'm going to win this situation if I don't reach out, if I allow this person to come towards me, but they still love you and they want to hear from you. So it doesn't really make any sense. You are irreplaceable. Yeah, see, they know that they're not going to be able to replace you. That's what I'm saying. This person is not going to give up on you. They're just waiting for you to contact them or they're waiting for you to uh, make the first move here. And then we have, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. So I feel like this person feels like you're too good for them or they may not measure up to your standards or whatever you're wanting. 
I'm also picking up the energy that this person may not be um, financially on your level. They may feel like they don't have enough money or maybe this is something that you complain about to this person. We have, I'm still haunted by my actions. Yeah, whatever they did is bothering them because they feel like they let you down. Spirit, what does Aquarius person want them to know? What does Aquarius person want them to know? I need to go my own way for a while. So this person may pull away from you. I don't feel like they're going to end this for good though. But I feel like if you don't reach out to them, they're going to go their own way. It's like they're too stubborn to reach out to you right now. But I feel like at some point they will. And this could have already happened. Okay, I need to go my own way for a while. Maybe this is something that happened when you guys first had an argument or when you found out about something. Because the tarot cards is saying that this person is really in their head right now. They're missing you and that they're on their way back to you if you don't reach out to them. Spirit, what does Aquarius person want them to know? What does Aquarius person want them to know? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? Okay. It all comes down to timing. So they're waiting for the right timing. You could be dealing with someone who's afraid to talk to you because they know they screwed up so bad. They don't know what to say and how to fix it. They just know they want this connection to work. Spirit, what does Aquarius person want them to know? Would you give me the time? Um, oh, I can't even read this right. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? It really was me, not you. Okay, so they're wanting you to know that they are aware that they screwed this up. So they may have tried to blame you in the past, Aquarius, but now they're realizing that they can't do that anymore because you're not going to accept it. I feel, I feel like this person expected you to contact them by now, but because you're not, it's like they're they're becoming like um, Nine of Swords energy, like um, fearful. They, they're having anxiety. They may not be sleeping well. And then we have, I look at your picture often. So they could be looking at pictures in their phone of you or maybe on the internet, on your social media page. We have, you're special to me, even though I told you otherwise. Yeah, this person could have told you they didn't want this connection and now they're deciding that they do. And then we have, I've thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. Yeah, so this person wants to talk. They could have like text or wanted to text you so they typed up this long message and then they just like saved it to their phone and they just decided not to send it is what i'm saying so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading aquarius i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie to Rome. I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522 and I will see you guys next time. Bye.